I was in Hawaii recently for a family wedding of my nieces, and I was inspired because we saw turtles. Have you been to Hawaii? Mm-hmm. Best turtles. They were so okay. cute, just in the waves. Anyway, it inspired the tortoise shell nail. Emily, my assistant, has been asking me to do this. She's got beautiful short nails, so that's what we're going to do today. I have them on long nails, but as you can see on the short nails, they're adorable. Let's get started. This is actually rather simple. Now I've done them on some long nails, and when you do smaller nails, you gotta make the design smaller. So if I just took a patch of this for this little tiny nail to go on to here, you wouldn't really get the full picture of the tortoise shell look. So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller to suit these adorable little tiny nails you have. <laughs> they are small. I bought a turtle ring and we were gonna put it on her finger to show, cause it's gonna look really cute for the photos. But look at this, look at this little tiny ring. Either my fingers are fat or yours are super tiny. I'm going with yours are super tiny. I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> that's it. So really you can do this with any kind of brown. I was playing around, like I say, doing it with this and I did it with some nudes and some darker colors, but I really found this one worked for me. This is Starfire. This is a Madame Glam color. I've never used Madame Glam before, but they sent me some, so I thought I'll try it. And the color happens to be just perfect, perfect for this design. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do. All nail technicians do this, which is use different lines together, especially gel polish. And I'm gonna do that for this design, and I'm gonna let you know, though, when you put different lines on top of each other, different brands, sometimes they don't always want to work together. Most times they do work together, but sometimes they don't. Just as long as you and your customer knows that they might not work together. And what that looks like is maybe in a week or two time, they might kind of peel and one layer just peels. It doesn't exactly um, cure to it. So just as long as you know that, that's what ha happens sometimes. But it doesn't matter because we only want this design on for a week or so. Mm -hmm. Look at these cute little things. I'm actually glad. This is Emily, my assistant. And I'm glad that she has these cute little fingers. And we're laughing because during the little setup there, she was saying, <laughs> what were you thumb, saying? Your thumb is like the size of my index finger. <laughs> are you saying my thumbs are giant? No, that's not what I said. I think that's exactly what you said. <laughs> My index finger is small. Let's just leave Your it at that. Your hands are small. I'll give you that. Mine are too. Is that harder to work with though when they're tiny? Well, that's a good question. Yeah, it can be harder, obviously. And it depends on if a client's fingers are, or the nail is sort of inset in the skin. Oh, yeah. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So like sometimes you can have a bigger finger and sometimes they might sit a little higher and they're easy to get at. Mm. But even if it's a bigger finger and if it's set back into the skin, like if you like think of it, if you took a marshmallow and you took a tip and you shoved it inside the marshmallow, <laughs> you got all the skin near. So that's why I sort of pull it back and I pull the skin, which right. is what I'm probably going to do here. They're going to okay. get me glasses because that's aging on me is me eyes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Time to go to the optometrist. I always say, my clients would always say, you could do this with your eyes closed. And then I tried it once in a video and I, apparently I can't. <laughs> as long as I can find the finger, I could probably do it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put the first layer of the brown. I've got two layers of this brown and I've got three on layers on this one. I was just trying different layers to see the see-throughness to see come through. But we're going to put one layer of this very, very pretty color. And because they're little, well, any nail, honestly. You want to make sure you get the entire nail. And I'm really actually pulling, your skin is not too fluffy around there at all. So I don't have to worry about it. But if you are really particular, you can take a little dot. Okay, you can just take a little, just put a little dot on like a tile or a plastic or something that you can get at. And you just need a really fine brush your skin is not too puffy around there, so it's easier enough to get. But there's a little side right here on this side, and I'm just gonna get a tiny bit of polish. Now, when you're working with gel polish, there's no real time. If you're working with nail polish, mm -hmm. it's a bit different because it does dry, but gel polish is a huge advantage for designs like this, so I would recommend gel polish. And I am just seeing if I can get a little bit close. It's hard to get really close because the brush is included in a gel polish are a little on the fatter side and you want them to be I'm not complaining it's just that you want it to be that so it covers you can also actually paint the end I'm a big fan on painting the end you could do this with the brush too so like I say M is pretty 
not very much skin around, so it was easy to get this done. Okay. I will tell you, this coat I want to do on the thinner side. And when you swipe around the side with the brush, you can almost catch that free edge. And if not, just go in and catch it. We want it to be even. Now, when I put it on these, these are clear tips. So you can see right through. If you see any light coming through, you can kind of see that tortoise shell. Sort of like an amber, um, what is that? Translucent? Amber. Oh. Me. Yeah, when you have that like, yeah, amber, you kind of see it kind of glowing mm -hmm. through. It's sort of that effect. Yours are short and they're acrylic, so they don't have any clear free edge, right. but it still gives the color effect. Just two different looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. did some glitter nails just a couple videos ago and I am seeing it everywhere. I saw it yesterday on my cheek, I'm seeing it on the inside of my finger and I saw it on your shirt when you got here today. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just doing the one light coat. This is going to be a nice base for the design and the next step is going to be painting the tortoiseshell design. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to nuke that. Give that a little okay. bit of a nuke. I actually swam with tortoise sh tortoise shells. <laughs> I swam <laughs> with turtles when we first went to Hawaii about 20 years ago. Remember that, Caravan? Was it that long ago? Yeah, yeah when the, the kids were time. really yeah. little. When I was yeah, like yeah. three. Yeah, this first time we went swimming and I'm a super, super queasy person. So we're out there swimming with all the turtles. I can't even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> we go on the big BC ferry and you're like, oh no. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> but I ended up swimming with turtles. The whole family did. It was amazing. But we were swimming around to another part of the bay and I had to get around to the other side because my little girl was so little. A grandpa took her to the other side. So we all went swimming. But I was bobbing on the water far too much. Okay, so I'll tell you the rest of the story. Let's get to the nails. But I will tell you that because it's pretty funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the little tortoiseshell dots. I don't want to make them too harsh though. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is you can soften the color a little. I'm going to get a little bit of clear and you can sort of soften. I'm going to have a black because it is kind of black. We don't want to do harsh lines around this dot. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to look like a cow, like a spotted right. black and white cow. So we just want to get a nice brush and you can sort of mix those two together. And I will even add the color of the brown that mm. we've been using just to soften it a little. Okay. I love these tiles for this. Yeah, just get that from Home Depot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, when I was in Kauai, I found one at a store, and I meant to go back for it, and I forgot. No, oh, Had bummer. Kauai all over, beautiful colors and stuff. That would have been cool. I know, would have been. Okay, so, is that a glitter or a mole? Oh, it's glitter. It's glitter. <laughs> it's everywhere. Okay. I We have this saying in Canada, we're never three feet from a spider. I always say I'm never three feet from glitter. Glitter, yeah. So I'm going to just dot in a nice kind of, you can see it's not harsh, like strong edges. I'm going to just soften it a little. And they're not a very uniform dot. Not like a circle. It's like yeah. any shape, really. Mm -hmm. But because it's a, a little nail, I also don't want to do giant splotches, right? So I'm going to just do this on all of the nails, but I do want to make sure that I'm not doing the same mm -hmm. pattern as each and every finger. That would look kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So the pinky, I'll actually do it even a little bit smaller. And then the thumb. That's 
so cool. You can kind of see it like coming together. Yeah. So this one was just two coats of the brown color, and this was three coats. I like that better. Which one? This one. The three coats. Yeah, it's like oh, softer. interesting. I love mm, it. Interesting. Okay, so hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, I think I just got told. <laughs> no, it's good to get the client's opinion. Okay, so just take a little bit of black. I'm going to put a little dot here again. And some would take just a pure black. We'll just do it on one and add even just a little bit more blacker. So you got a little bit of different dimension. But you don't do it on different spots. You do it on the actual black that you have. And I don't want any lines, as you can see. I really st want to stick to the somewhat of a circle. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm sold on it, but I'm not not liking it. Actually, I might kind of like it. I'm just going to add a little bit in there. Again, I don't want any little lines. Okay, so I'm going to tell you to nuke it. Okay, you know Back to my puking story. So then I was floating around with the turtles and I really can't do that. So I said to cameraman, you go. I'm just going to like you you stay here with the kids because I'm going to swim all the way to the shore, which is what our goal was anyway. But I lost kind of track and I actually swam out too far. And I, no. there's a bunch of boats. They were dive boats and stuff. And I actually found myself out that far. And then this kayak cut, cut in front of me. I'm like, what? What is that? What is happening? Get out of my way. Because as long as I'm moving, I'm okay. I'm not going to throw up. So I kept going, swimming as fast as I could. And this guy, finally, I put my head out of the water to say, get out of my way kind of thing. And he threw me... Um, Oh my gosh. Uh, a life, life preserver thing. Because <laughs> you could tell it was too far out. Meanwhile, cameraman was swimming around looking for me and he oh, found no. the boats and the boat said, oh, she went off in that direction. You'll never catch her. She's gone. He's like, where are you going? So yeah, um, I guess I just got off track just a little too far out. So the kayak guy said, you're just a little too far. I thought I better help you. So that was very nice of Thank him. Thank gosh. But it didn't stop me from puking. I got to the shore and boom. <laughs> very classy. Very classy move. Okay. So then... I will take, actually, this color again, and I will put a nice soft coat over top to sort of encase it, and it sort of softens the whole thing, and it mm -hmm. looks like a very, very nice. Takes away the hardness. So I'm just going to put a nice light coat on that. Oh, I love it with the second coat. Yeah. It's really rich, and it just smooths it out. This is where I will make sure the ends have the color on it. Cute. It looks so good. So when I look at that, I'm looking at this, and as you we were doing, I was kind of like, me. Oh, I'm glad you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem of mine. But when I put the second coat on, now it's like rich, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loving it now. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page, because yeah. you're going to have to wear the Yeah, out. right. So I'm just going to put a nice light coat on each and every one. Sloppy. Now I have to say, when you are taking away product that's on the person's skin, don't use your skin. Like you can use your fingernail, but wipe it on a cotton pad or something. Don't wipe it on your skin. Oh, yeah, it'll go away and you'll lose it, but it's not good to touch it with your skin constantly, like if you're doing this day in and day out. My goodness, your whole finger is as big as the brush. <laughs> they look awfully cute though. You can't really get this cute look if you're doing them really long. They're adorable. You do look good. Okay. I have to say this color is actually quite perfect for this. At least the tone that I was looking for, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cute. Okay, nuke. Okay. I'm going to put these glasses on. Okay, so now we just need to top coat. 
I know it's just a, a clear top coat, but honestly, a clear top coat can also make it look another layer of smooth. And don't forget to tip the edge because you did put the color on the end too. Okay, let's check out the reveal shots. Oh, and you have to have the little ring. Okay. M, with this ring, <laughs> would you be my tortoise shell model? Sure. Oh, good. I'll give you another one too. I do. See if you like this one. Your fingers are too small. This one's going to fly around. Mm -mm. No, that's not going to work. No. <laughs> she has adorable little nails. We're going to do short more nails more often. Yeah, I like this. I love it. Thank well, you. thanks for joining me, you guys, and putting up with my stories. Um, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.